5965. Dear Pam, I suppose you are wondering why Linda, Stevie, and I acted the way we did after school yesterday. The main reason is because you are a phony person. You had better watch out before you become completely friendless. Why on earth could you even start to like Mick over Paul? You think you're an individualist, but an individualist isn't one who wears strange clothes. Pam, you try to be strange, but you aren't. You're just being a loser. Nobody likes you when you act the way you do. Personally, I'd much rather go around with my crowd than with Moody Victor, who chops everybody down just because he knows he isn't popular. Just remember, you won't be a teenager all your life, and when you get in your 20s, you will regret your actions. I thought I knew you real well. You were always so enthusiastic about the Beatles, and now you're a Rolling Stones fan. I don't see how you could pick them over the Beatles unless you were being a phony all that time. The stones are dirty and sloppy and they repugnate me. When I think back to how you used to sign your name, Paul and Pam, I can't believe you're the same girl. I don't hate you, but frankly, I don't like you very much. <laughs> Kathy and Stevie. <laughs> K and S, I have very sensible answers to your ridiculous questions. Paul and Mick cannot be compared. They are two opposite types with two opposite types of love connected with them. I have not taken the stones over the Beatles. I have just let them become a part of my life too. Is that so wrong? The Beatles can never be topped either. Oh, you don't understand. They play two different types of music. They cannot be compared. It makes me literally sick how you think you know so much about the sloppy stones that you feel you can call them dirty. Just because they don't all wear the same suits and comb their hair the same way. You know nothing of Victor, and if you did, your opinion would change. Well, maybe not. He doesn't get along very well with people whose minds are rather narrow. He can also spot a phony, and if I were a phony, he would have told me long ago. I don't think I'm one bit strange. I go to my closet and I pick out things that I think look good together. I don't stand there and say, oh, I think I'll look strange today. I do what I like, I say what I like, and I don't hate you either. I don't hate anybody, Pamela.